So I'm sure you guys have heard about gods, right? Gods of the sun and moon, fire and water, and everything in between. But you may not have heard about the old gods. Gods so old they remember when the world was void and the universe was empty. Yeah, see, I was right. Let me tell you a story about one in particular. His name was Joe. And very much like myself, he was an echo. You see, the old gods were known for their wisdom and, and practical omniscience since they were there since the beginning. And Joe was no different. But Joe was... Not one to wish to be burdened by his elder wisdom. Joe would rather laugh with others. So one day came when all the gods and of all the creeds of all the countries met in one place. Discussing matters of the eternal. And Joe was found sleeping. Even though Joe was respected for being one of the old ones and respected for his wisdom, this treachery of disrespect could not be overlooked. And he was cast out from the only home he ever knew. The only home that he built for all the gods to be housed. When Joe landed into the mortal reality, he was bitter, angry. How dare they disrespect the old ones? How dare they respect one of the oldest gods that ever was? But then he wandered into a town and saw the peacefulness, the unity, everyone laughing and joking. Of course, not everyone was genuine, and he knew that. He knew every single one of them by name. But he was still astonished at how these people, rich, poor, and otherwise, could find reasons to laugh. It amused him. It intrigued him even more. So he went in. And a small little girl walked up to him. Asking who he was. Well, knowing that the old ones were not actively worshipped. He could say his normal name. So he told her, I am Joe. And she gave him a glass of water, assuming that he was a traveling merchant of some kind or an adventurer. This little girl's kindness changed the old god. This little girl's kindness inspired a god older than old itself, honestly. He decided to become a god of wanderers. So he told this little girl, he bowed down to her, he said, You inspired me unlike anyone else in my long, long life. So this girl ran home. After telling him to wait, she came back with an old hat that was her father's. See, her father had passed away and she wanted someone to remember her father besides her family. So she gave him this hat telling him that it would keep the sun out of his eyes, that would keep him cool. <laughs> 
Then she took a very similar hat that was very obviously knitted by her. And she, as quick as I could ever know, stitched the ribbon onto the hat. She asked him to, to hold out his tail for her. So he did as the little girl asked, curious on what she was going to do. She tied that little ribbon around his tail. The old god moved his tail to his face. Intrigued is still by this weird little hat. <laughs> he asked her what it was for. That his tail was still would still be warm, and she said, No, he won't. Just like my daddy's hat, your tail will stay cool as well. The old god smiled. This little girl had no idea who he was. That he could make the mountains tremble with the sound of his voice. And she thought he was just a poor wanderer. He knew at that moment that was his mission, to make people feel better about themselves. To help the needy, particularly the travelers. Some say he's still here. I've heard rumors of sightings and things like that. Sometimes he comes in as a fellow wanderer. Dressed in tattered clothes. Other times he's in a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. Sometimes he's a full-on traveling merchant with goods and services to specifically help your situation. So, if you see someone like that who comes in at the right moment when you're at your thirstiest, hungriest, tiredest, Check his tail. He may just have a hat on it. And if so, you've caught the glimpse of an old god. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I do have a tail. And I have a hat. Oh, what's my name? My name's Joe. Enjoy your drink. <laughs>